Hi and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Tangier. Tangier is one of the most interesting port cities in the world. It has a magical literary past, a historic maze of streets in the Kasbah, and the beautiful Grand Mosque. This gateway to Africa, which is just an hour's boat ride from Europe, never fails to amaze the many people who come here every year. Before we start our top 10, please click the subscribe button and tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Tangier in the comments. Number 10. Café Hoffa Café Hoffa is such an important part of Tangier's history that it's a must-see for anyone passing through. It has been around since 1921, as its entrance proudly states, and it is on a cliff with a beautiful view of the Mediterranean Sea. Most afternoons, this outdoor cafe is full of locals and tourists playing music, cards, and stretching out on the tables. If you want to go when it's less busy, you should visit in the morning. Number 9. Librairie des Colons Everyone who loves books loves the Librairie des Colons in Tangier, which has been there since 1949. Some of the best writers of the 20th century, like Paul Bowles, Samuel Beckett, Truman Capote, Jen Jennett, and Tennessee Williams, like to hang out there. The building looks like it's stuck in the past, and the inside has shelves and shelves of books, some of which are in English. Number 8. Cinema Riff Make a quick detour to this movie theater while you're in the Grand Saco. It shows both big name and smaller films. This is a real Tangier experience. It looks like Art Deco and dates back to the late 1930s. The movie theater is proud of its mixed cultural roots and, like Tangier, is a place where different cultures meet. It shows movies in both French and Arabic. Number 7. Grand Saco At this main intersection with a grassy lawn and tall palm trees, new Tangiers flows into the old city. On one side is a mosque, and on the other is a movie theater. The wide road ends in narrow streets with cobblestones. At this place where the past and the present meet, you can shop at traditional market stalls for nuts, fresh fruit, and even a kaftan or two. Number 6. Petit Sacco You'd never guess that drug dealers and prostitutes used to hang out at the Petit Sacco. Today, it's a harmless pedestrian square where you can sit and drink mint tea or orange juice outside one of the popular busy cafes and watch the world go by. If you want to act like a local, order a series of fresh mint teas over the course of an hour or so. Number 5. American Legation Museum 18 months after the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4, 1776, Morocco was the first country to recognize the United States as a separate country. This museum has an elegant presence in the busy Medina. It gives the city an interesting 1940s vibe and makes it feel more international. When you walk in, you'll feel like you're in a different time. Number 4. St. Andrew's Church Most tourists and locals agree that this is one of the most interesting places to see in Tangier. St. Andrew's Church was dedicated in 1905. It is a dramatic mix of architectural styles that show the city's history of different faiths. As you might expect, it is the center of Christian life in Tangier. It has writings from the Quran and the Lord's Prayer in Arabic on its Moorish interior, and because of where it is, it points in the direction of Mecca. Number 3. Beach Promenade Morocco's growing tourism has brought in money that has helped keep its cities, sites, and beaches clean. The golden sands along the coast of Tangier look great against the bright blue sea, and they are a great place to get away from the busy city. It's close to the busy port. Number 2. The Grand Mosque of Tangier This interesting structure dates back to the 5th century CE, when it was the site of a Roman temple. In the 8th century, its location in the middle of the city seemed like a good place for Muslims to pray, so a mosque was built there. After the Portuguese took over the area at the end of the 15th century, it was turned into a cathedral and then back into a mosque. Number 1. The Casbah When you visit under the Bab Haha Gate, you'll be in the Casbah with its cobblestone streets 
and many mysteries. From the top of the hill, you can see a lot because you can see both the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. But leave the guidebook at home. This old, crumbling part of the city is all about surprises you find on your own. You might get lost, but that's part of the fun. Just keep walking uphill, and you'll find one of the babs, or gates, that lead out of the maze. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Tangier. Please like the video if you enjoyed our list, and share your views in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.